Hello everyone. Let's have some fun today and we're gonna take a little tour of my, my vintage marble collection. Uh, vintage marbles are a lot of fun for me to collect. Uh, you know, I, I consider it art and many people do. So that's why they collect them. And marble making was a very competitive industry from around the turn of the century up past mid-century when a lot of kids played with them so there were a lot of companies that were making them so let's take a look at this top section this is a vitro agate marbles they started in the 1930s these are cool these are some of my favorite vitros they're called yellow jackets and i just love the colors on them it's actually clear glass under there and brushed colors. And they had reverse blackies here, all reds, blackies. There's a larger yellow jacket, shooter, tiger eyes, whiteies, all kinds of nice, neat, brilliantly colored marbles. There's some helmets here. It looks like a football player wearing a helmet. Down here is Acro Agate marbles. They used some oxblood glass in some of their marbles, and that's this darker red, very detailed glass. A lot of definition in the in the oxblood. They also had a corkscrew patent where it made the marble turn and so the glass had a spiral effect when it was when it was made. And these are Popeyes. They're rather valued by collectors. And some more corkscrews here. These are these are called prize names. Here's some MF Christiansen's. These are nine and tails. They were hand gathered, so this is the pattern that was shaped when it was pulled from the punty. Some more acros. This is a egg yolk and oxblood limeade, cherryade, lemonade. Some of them have names, not all of them, but. Some have fun names that collectors coin for them, or kids actually, they played with them, they had nicknames for some of them. These are all acros down here, acro patches. These are neat, these are snakes. This one has actually has three colors in it. You see that, it's a spiral. It's that same corkscrew pattern but it's on clear glass. Fun, really neat. I have some alley swirls here. These are some nice ones. This is uh, Blue Skies, and this one is called uh, 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 Blue Lady. And actually, this one is nice. This is called Purple Haze here. It's an alley agate. Down here are some fun marble kings. They came a little later in the 1940s and I mean, look at the colors on these. And um, actually, where's, oh, here's, this is a really cool one. This is a blended Cub Scout. It's one of my favorites. And here's some nice blended ones right in here. Look at the, all the different colors that have been brushed onto that marble. Really neat, Marble King. They're still around, they're still making marbles today. There's a big wasp shooter. There's my Peacock Marble King on the right. The next tray, I have some Vitro Hybrid Cat's Eyes. They have a couple colors in them. 
and some Peltier bananas. These are all slags in here. There's some of the earliest machine-made marbles are slags. These are actually glow-in-the-dark Vaseline slags. And there's a raven's wood on the left. I think the other one is too. Some alley agates. These are champion swirls. Some more vitros. Oh, these are cool. Look at these jobs. These are called vitro superiors. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. Uh, the colors are fantastic on, look at these. These are all superiors, vitro superiors. Some opals. And this is all vitro. And you know, here's our, these are exotic conquerors. It's a very early vitro model. Some more tiger eyes. Yep, vitro, really neat. There's my bird skull. I think it's a big seagull. And so this tray, um, Imperials, these are Japanese vintage marbles. Look at that blue color. You just don't see that in American made old marbles. And some master marbles, that's a nice one. Pick that up at a flea market. For a dollar. These are more modern ones. In here there's a um, Vicor and uh, what are these called? These are these larger ones. They are uh, Appalachian swirls. These are neat Vicors. They're called seahorse. They're red and that beautiful aqua color. And this is sort of just fun stuff. That's a nice shooter. I don't know what, I think it's a pelt, I'm not sure. It's almost an inch. These are Christensen Agates. They're one of the earlier companies. And look at that line of striped opaques. They're vivid colored glass on these American agates by Christensen agate I have a brick here's a brick this one is an MF Christensen brick there's some turkey swirls um, Christensen made those and they you can see the turkey kind of head the shape of a turkey head that's a telltale sign of a uh, Christensen. Some more alley swirls, some peltiers, and clay marbles. They're pre-1900 probably. They're made out of clay. Here's some other earlier. These are German handmade swirls. We got a couple of those. There's a nice alley. The two color alley on the left. Actually, there's two of them. That has some green in it. Uh, let's see, what else? Got some fun stuff. These guys, I saved the best for last. These are Peltier Company marbles. And they have some highly collectible models. Namely the National Line Rainbows, and these are some of them in here. And you can see that glass is just gorgeous. Oh, that's my, I couldn't tell what this one, this is actually called a, uh, a pine needle. And yeah, these all have different, a lot of them, they have different nicknames, like this one there is a, Superman and 
Spider-Man, and yep, yeah, there's all kinds of names for them. So these are really neat. Look at that. It's a Liberty on the left and a, and a bee on the right. A red bee. This job here, right here has three seams on it, right to tight together. It's a, a multicolored, they're both multicolored swirls. A fantastic. Peltier Peerless patches here. Very vibrant colors on the Peltiers, the earlier ones. Yep, so that's, that's some of my stuff, and um, I hope you enjoyed it, and so I will, you know, I'll make a new one sometime down the line. Thank you for watching.